maybe 12 colleagues that are in here, um, I want to thank you. And for those who are listening, as uh, we are taking a uh, working uh, noon hour today, LB623 is a very difficult bill for me to, uh, to discuss, to vote on. In the past, I have been firmly, firmly, without hesitation, uh, not in support of it. I do not want to give illegal immigrants a driver's license. Period. That's, that was the past. But today, I still do not want to give illegal immigrants driver's licenses. I believe immigration is very important. But what I have heard in our committee is that we are talking about one specific group of young individuals, one group, a special class, who came here with their parents illegally. They're here illegally. But we have educated them. Many are uh, exceeding, excelling beyond our expectations and to our delight, wanting to be citizens. They are a subset of dreamers. They are not the dreamers. They are deferred action young individuals. And this is one group of individuals. The facts remain they are here illegally. Their parents came illegally. But immigration is such, such an important part of our country. I know this personally. I was, uh, I'm the first baby born in America for my immigration parents. They came from the Ukraine. I was born here. They brought over my two older brothers. We have pictures of the wonderful celebration and ceremony of becoming American citizens. My parents went to grade school at night to learn English. And not only did they learn English, but they worked so hard to pronounce each word perfectly. They were proud of the fact they immigrated. I would hear the story of how they would come here off the ship at Alice Island. They would drop to their knees. They would thank God they were brought here. They would stand up with their hand on for their heart and thank the flag and America. But they came here legally. They waited patiently. If you talk with other legal immigrants, this process is so important to the fabric of our country. And the one thing that is reassuring is that we are only talking about one subset of a group of illegal immigrants. I pulled up an article from the Immigration Information Source, and it talks about how immigration has a significant impact on our, on our country. We have naturalized citizens, legal permanent residents, refugees, and asylees. We have international students and other long-term temporary visas, but we also have illegal immigrants. And in the year 2013, approximately 41.3 immigrants lived in the United States. One this minute. is an all-time high. Immigration is not to be taken lightly, but we do need to address the students we educated, the young people we gave asylum to, if that's asylum, that who have a legal presence, not a legal status. But there is a difference here, and we need to weigh heavily. I cannot support giving them a license, but I cannot deny that we have a responsibility here. And with this somewhat closed class, we will hear much debate today, and I'll put my light on again, on why we must protect legal immigration for the millions who came here legally, respectful of our laws. Thank you, Mr. President, and thank you maybe 20 colleagues at this time in the chamber. 
Thank you, Senator Brosh. Those waiting in the queue, Senator Friesen, William Stinner, Nordquist, and others. Senator Friesen, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. President. When this issue first came up before the session even started, I would have been firmly opposed to giving driver's license to anybody. Um, didn't know much about the subject, but I had read enough about it, I knew about it, but I would have said, no, we don't need to do this. And then I started meeting with different groups, uh, met with some people in Grand Island, and there were some young people at that meeting, and they did a very good job of presenting the facts, and they didn't use emotion or anything else, they just explained the situation and described what the problem was. So as I started doing more research, I still wasn't convinced. And as we session got underway, and we um, heard this bill before the Transportation Committee, I changed my mind. And it doesn't have anything to do with immigration or anything else. It doesn't have anything to do with making our roads safer. It's just something I feel that we need to do. We, we offer driver's license to all types of different deferred action status people. When we have and transfer it to their country's driver's license and they have a driver's license and ours is a very cheap process compared to some countries where it costs upwards of $800,000, $900,000 to, to get a driver's license. So we offer driver's license to many different groups of individuals um, for different reasons. Um, this is no different. Well, you can argue whether this is a legal presence, legal status, or anything else, and you can argue whether or not President Obama was legal in what he did. That's not for me to decide. Uh, some court will decide that, and at that point, the status will change, and these driver's licenses at that point expire. So it's just a matter of we recognize that something has changed. This is something I think we need to do. It's only fair. It has nothing to do with immigration in my mind. Um, these students now have some sort of legal presence or legal status. We can argue about that. And until some court or judge or Congress changes that fact, these people are eligible for driver's license. And if they want to be productive members of our society, in rural Nebraska at least, they need a driver's license. And this is not going to prevent anybody else from driving without insurance. Those are issues that are not, they're not even, shouldn't even be up for discussion here. The insurance is on the automobile. Um, that's just a matter of fact that's going to happen no matter what we do with this bill. So most of the people, the responsible ones, are going to make sure they have their driver's license in place. They're going to make sure that there's insurance on that vehicle and they are going to be able to drive to work and back and carry on life as we know it here.